I will not be satisfied until I can keep some freshwater aquarium stingrays. These things are like the peak of freshwater species to keep in a tank. And the reason is because they grow absolutely massive and the bio load is probably 5X of just any regular aquarium fish that could be of that size. A lot of people try to keep them in small tanks, like a 150 gallon tank or a 210, but if you do the math, it's around 25% of their body mass versus the footprint they're living in because you got to remember they're only living on the bottom and the reason i'm showing this is because mother nature their natural habitat is massive you know these rivers are absolutely massive and when you add up the equivalent of a stingray living in a 210 gallon tank it's the same equation as you living in the trunk of your car like I said, it's been on my bucket list to keep freshwater aquarium rays, and I will do it. I'm starting up my store soon, and I'm looking to buy a massive tank. And I'm not talking like a 210 or a 150 or even a 300. I have my eye on some 500 plus gallon acrylics, and I even found a thousand gallon acrylic. Um, this is something you need to keep freshwater stingrays. Today's video is on the Matoro Stingray, and this will be the first Stingray that I buy because it's the most popular for beginners, and yes, it is not the smallest ray. The Teacup Stingray is the smallest, but uh, that's a double-edged sword because the Teacup Ray is also a very finicky eater, and they're not as sturdy. Anyhow, uh, I got some super cool footage. It seems my cichlids here uh, don't care for the divider and they just felt like destroying it. So I've been having this issue. Um, it seems that I need to get, um, there were some suction cups holding this one up too. So these Texas cichlids are super powerful fish. Um, I don't know. I've been thinking about trying to build a like DIY divider system out of like PVC and then paint it black and it would like, be hidden under the gravel that it would have some more support instead of because I hate the look of the suction cups so if I could have like a platform with uh, a wall I don't know maybe you're not catching what I'm saying anyways let's talk about taking care of the Matoro stingray and um, like I said it is the most popular it's less expensive than the black diamond stingray and it's going to be my first stingray. They range, depending on where you live, the cost is usually around $200 to somewhere like around $1,000. It really depends where you live. Right now, I can get one for probably $600 shipped to my door. Um, let's take a look at these beauties, and I actually have some really cool footage of an unboxing of a Matoro stingray. All right, so here's the super cool unboxing I was talking about. And this is really common. Um, it's super scary when you throw down a ton of money and buy a stingray like this, but this is just the bitter truth of how they ship. Um, usually get a better deal or you can find a bigger stingray for less money online than just getting one from your local fish store. And like I said, the teacup um, is usually the smallest stingray you can get. But that being said, um, a lot of the times, local fish stores will mislabel, um, you know, this the teacup, a.k.a. stingray, is actually known as a reticulated stingray. And it's really common for fish stores to mislabel the stingrays because they just really actually have no idea. And the reason for this is because there are tons and tons of hybrids coming out right now because stingrays... Uh, uh, breeders are noticing there's a huge increase in popularity so there's tons of hybridization happening to to make a tougher stingray essentially and ma more mass produced so the colorations are all over the place as far as figuring out what type you may have I foresee the industry of stingrays becoming somewhat like flower horns you know like even though you think you have a super red you could have other people sit there and argue till they're blue in the face that it's a different type of stingray so that being said the motoro stingray is one of the i've done a ton of research and it's one of the best stingrays to go with um taking care of these guys guys this is like like i told you the top of the tier with fish keeping 
you're going to need a massive tank. And I said before earlier in the video that you could need a 500 or a thousand gallon tank. I didn't actually, I was just worked up. What actually amounts to the space you need for stingrays is square feet, because like I said, they only use the bottom of the aquarium. It's really common to just go with a standard size tank that's eight feet long, four feet wide, um, it's essentially like a sheet of eight by four plywood because, uh, and that in my personal opinion is actually even too small because these, the Matoro Stingray grows 36 inches in diameter at full size. That is, uh, if that's like a seventh of the size of the tank. And you got to remember, they're only using the bottom. So it could be, a tank could be 10 feet high and have all the gallonage that you possibly need but it just, they don't, they're only using the bottom and that's what matters with stingrays. It's really common for people to pick up like a 210 gallon and it, it's, it works great for juvie rays and that means just smaller in size rays. But as they grow older, like I said, the Matoro stingray can grow up to 36 inches. So um, just do your best on a tank size, use your best judgment. I know I'm kind of a Nazi when it comes to tank size with fish, but I truly believe that um, you know, like I, I am a tank size Nazi because I just want what's best for the fish essentially. Um, as far as filtration, do the best you can get. Get your hands on as much biological media as possible. I would, I would advise just making a custom sump because it's going to be the best filtration possible. As far as feeding, most people stick to live foods like just raw shrimp, tilapia. There's a lot of good custom recipes that people have posted on like Monster Fish Keepers that they find the stingrays absolutely love. If you're holding your breath on feeding you guys pellets, it's probably not going to work out. So that being said, it's a lot of work keeping up with feeding these guys because it's constantly going to be mainly live foods. And um, some people do have luck with pellets, but uh, the Matoro is actually a, ma a more hardy feeder than the other stingrays too. So that, that does help. As far as tank mates go, the fish is obviously not going to be able to fit in the stingray's mouth or it's going to find its way there. It's really common for uh, stingray keepers to keep, uh, bleh, I can't speak, keep the fish with other massive fish. Uh, it's really common to keep like arowanas, PB bass, um, a lot of larger predator like cichlids, datnoids, anything that gets pretty large and can hold its own because stingrays are actually pretty good hunters and they will eat pretty much anything that's in their path. Once they get acclimated and like what they're living in and start enjoying themselves, they are going to start feeding like crazy. Hopefully this guide kind of helped you guys if you're thinking about choosing a freshwater stingray. I have been obsessed with them as fast as I could find them. Uh, I will give credit to the, D the king of DIY, Joey. He really has, you know, really opened our eyes to all the cool things we can dream and build. So I want to give a shout out to you, to you Joey. Um, I know a lot of you guys hate his channel and uh, despise him, but I actually look up to him. So, and a lot of you guys talk trash, but then follow his channel, which is kind of stupid in my opinion. Um, his stuff's really fun to watch. He's done so much for the scene. Um, I love watching his 2,000 gallon build. Um, I plan on getting some stingrays and hold, I'm holding my breath till I can bring you guys some videos of my personal setups. Um, I'm starting my store soon, so I'm really ecstatic about that. Um, Hit up the comments if you guys have any questions. I love talking about stingrays. I hope to have a bunch of this in my near future. Um, I'm probably gonna do a drip system setup. I know it's easy to talk what you're gonna do, air quotes, because all of us do it. Yeah, I'm gonna go to 800 gallon, but I am literally working on setting up my store right now and it's going to happen, guys. So um, like this, like this video, um, hit up the comments if you guys have any other questions I can do videos on. I just love doing this stuff because I get to further research more fish species, etc. And I love learning everything I can about this industry. So without further ado, make sure to subscribe, like this video, la-di-da-di, -di, all that awesome stuff.